Uh, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. The next method of uh, capital budgeting is profitability index method. Uh, this technique is also used to evaluate the profitability of the project and to decide whether the project to be accepted or whether the project to be rejected. Uh, first of all, a simple definition is given here and the profitability index, or also we can call it PI, signify the present value of inflow per unit of present value of outflow. And mathematically, you can define it in this way, PI or profitability index is equal to present value of inflow per present value of outflow. It means uh, PI or profitability index method find out the profitability of the project in terms of its expenses or it compare or it find out the profitability of the project in terms of its cost. It means that it compare the inflow of the project uh, with the outflow of the project and that is why it divide the present value of inflow per present value of outflow in order to find out how much a dollar we made for each unit of how much dollar we made for each dollar of investment or how much profit how much profit we made for each unit of investment how much profit we made for each unit of investment simply we can say it this method compare the profitability of the project with the cost of the project and how we can decide based on this information if pi or profitability index is greater than 1 project to be accepted if pi or profitability index is less than 1 the project to be rejected what do you mean by this one if it is greater than 1 if it is greater than 1 it means the project make profit how it make profit for example let us give an example let us say for example the present value of inflow is 1000 divided by present value of outflow let us say for example present value of outflow of the project is equal to 500 if you divide it it become two two in this case means that for each dollar of an outflow we made two dollar of inflow so definitely the project to be accepted so it is greater than one if it is equal to one if it is equal to one for example inflow is 1000 and outflow also was for example 1000 if you made one in this case it means for each dollar of outflow there is one dollar of inflow so in this case no profit no loss just break even point so whether you accept the project or not it depends on you but on the other side if it is less than one if it is less than one for example the inflow of the project is 1000 and the outflow of the project is for example let us say it is 2000 right when you divide it you get 0. Point how much 0. 0.5 when it is 0 0.5, it means for each dollar of outflow, you made only 50 cent inflow. So definitely the project should be, should be rejected. But in the case of mutually exclusive projects, in which case, in the case of mutually exclusive projects, it means if you have several projects, for example, we have project A, we have, for example, project B, as well as, for example, we have project C, right? In this case, any project which gave maximum or higher PI, that one should be accepted. Let us say PI of this one is 1.5. PI for this one is, for example, equal to 2. And PI for the last project is equal to, for example, 3. Right? If this is so, which project should be accepted? Definitely this project should be accepted. If we have enough fund, we can accept all of this. But if there is a limitation of fund, so the last one which gave the maximum PI, that one should be should be accepted right one more point regarding profitability index it helps to compare the projects involving different amount of initial investment see one more point profitability index method or we can say pro pi is basically developed due to the limitation of net present value method why limitation of net present value because uh, net present value cannot compare two two different projects which they have different amount of investment. It means if two projects have different amount of investment, that one cannot be compared with the PI, with the net present value method. So if two projects have different outflow, then NPV cannot be applied. On that case, we have to apply the profitability index method. Let, it, let me give a simple example here. Suppose we have two projects, project A 
and project B. The outflow for projects, for both projects. Outflow for project A is 50,000. Outflow for project B is 1 lakh. Present value of inflow. Present value of inflow for project A, 80,000. For project B, 1 lakh 40,000. Definitely, if you find out NPV for project A, it is 30. But for project, of course, uh, for project B, it is how much? It is 40,000. If you want to decide based on NPV, if you want to decide based on NPV, definitely which project should be accepted? B project should be accepted. Why? Because NPV of this one is 30,000, but NPV of this one is equal to how much? 40,000. So this makes, uh, we can say, nonsense decision for us. Why this is? Why this is so? See, as per NPV, this project to be accepted. Why this one to be accepted? Because the NPV is 40, but this NPV is 30. But basically, this is a wrong decision. Why this is a wrong decision? Now, let me tell you why this is the wrong decision. For project A, how much you have invested? You have invested only amount of 50,000. With 50,000, you made 30,000 profit. But in the case of project B, you made 1 lakh investment. For 1 lakh, you made only 40,000, right? See, if instead of project B, you make 2 investment of project A. If you make 2 investment on project A, on that case, so how much will be the profitability? 30 into 2, right? If you multiply 30 into 2, then the profitability of an profitability of or profit of the A project will be equal to 60,000. It means that this project for 50,000 of outflow made 30,000 profit, but this project for huge amount of investment, double of A, it made only 40,000, right? So that is why the NPV basically misguide us in order to decide the profitability of the project. Here, definitely, we have to apply PI. If we apply the PI, this will be the result, right? Let us say, for example, PI, PI for A project. For which project? PI for A project. If we want to find that PI for A project, how much is the present value of inflow? Present value of inflow is equal to 80,000 divided by, as per the formula, right? We said present value of inflow divided by present value of outflow. For a project, present value of inflow divided by outflow. Outflow is equal to how much? 50,000. If you equal sign, then it is equal to 1.6. It means in the project A, for each dollar of investment, you made 1.6 dollar. Inflow is 1.6. Let us find out PI. PI for project B, right? If you apply for project B equal, Present value of inflow is 1,40,000 divided by present value of inf outflow is a equal to how much? 1 lakh. If you press the equal sign, you get only how much? You get only 1.4. 1. 1. So it means in project B, in project B, for each dollar of outflow, you made only 1.4 dollar of inflow. But for project A, for each dollar of outflow, you made 1.6 dollar of inflow. So this was the limitation of NPV, which, uh, which we can come up with this limitation with the profitability index method. So uh, let me summarize the profitability index method. Find out the profitability of the project in terms of outflow. And it is especially useful in the case of the projects, which they have different amount of outflow. If they have different amount of alpha outflow, we cannot compare it with the PI. Uh, with the NPV, definitely we have to apply the 